the end result is amazing, but it's not something that any one of us would have built. So this 79 Ford Bronco, or what used to be a 79 Ford Bronco, was built by three different YouTubers. Um, eBay Motors first sent it to Weston Champlin in Kansas, and he put, predictably, a 750 horsepower compound turbo 12 valve Cummins in it. And then we got a hold of it, and it had completely stock axles, running gear, everything. Uh, and obviously that wouldn't cut it for the aforementioned Cummins. So we got some two and a half ton Rockwell axles out of a two and a half ton military six by six. And um, we, you know, just slapped those under there. We've got four link suspension, uh, two and a half inch coilovers from carbon shock technologies with 12 inches of travel. Um, and of course, bump stops. So um, yeah, it, uh, it rides pretty nice. And now it can handle the power of the engine. Also, uh, we put 43 inch Mickey Thompson Baja Pro tires on it with internal beadlock military wheels that match the axles. Um, and all of that happened in 11 days because we got it in, we picked it up in Colorado, met, with, met up with Weston there and did a trail. And then the next day we drove 20 hours straight to get here and then slept for a couple hours and then just worked 11 days straight essentially non-stop just moments of sleep and food and then put it on the trailer and towed it all the way down to the rubicon trail in california um did a small portion of the rubicon because we were filming with ebay so there was a whole camera crew and um you know it was all about getting the right shots not completing the trail um <laughs> so uh we did that with it and then we passed it off to lacey blair in texas and she made it look like this um, there's actually some more lights that are not on there right now. When it got shipped, they had to take them off because it made it too tall and they didn't want to rip them off on a bridge or whatever. But um, yeah, so she painted everything, uh, wrapped it, put new lights on it, winch, bumpers, spare tire, all the, uh, all the shiny stuff. She did the interior and then ripped off the mirror on a trail. Not her fault, the trail was narrower than the Bronco. But um, yeah, we did the Calico Canyon in, uh, also in California. Um, and then uh, eBay was kind enough to send it back to us so we can have some fun with it in the snow. Sick. And fix a few things on it because it's, it was all built in a hurry. So yeah. there's a few things that need to be addressed. Some so, of them are my fault. Some of them are other people's faults. We're going to take this thing snow wheeling, right? We're going to take, yeah, that's uh, the plan. yeah, take, take my crawler and then possibly my brother's blazer. So two full Hopefully, size yeah. and then my little crawler as well. Yeah. See if we can't get properly stuck. We will. Yeah. The good thing is, if anyone else gets stuck, this thing weighs more than the whole planet. So <laughs> Your axles uh, weigh more than my truck. <laughs> yeah, the axles weigh probably almost as much as your truck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, it's a great winch point for everything else. But if it gets stuck, Oof. Uh, yeah. But there is the K5 coming, which yeah. it's, it's, it helps. It's not as heavy, but it's heavy. It helps. And does, he, does your brother have a winch yet? Uh, he is building a whole front end. He's putting the he's putting a winch in there, That's but good. he the needs he needs something. Though. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. needs something. <laughs> Sorry. But um, yeah, so we'll see how. I mean, we've ripped around the yard here, but the tires are still at I don't know what air pressure they're at. Somebody put them at a higher pressure there than they should be for crawling in the snow for sure. So on top of yeah, but. dude, just a little bit of work. You just slap those axles. Under yeah, there. just slap the axles under it. It's, Basically, it's an overnighter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just just bolt ons. <laughs> No, it was a lot of fabrication and we had some help with it. Um, uh, largely our friend Josh from Vague Industries and or Deathwish, however you know him, he does crazy stuff with all sorts of crazy vehicles. Um, he's built like uh, racing mega truck chassis for years. So he knows all the geometry and stuff. He helped figure out like a lot of the suspension geometry here. If you're building a competition truck is not perfect, but this is not a competition truck. It's a crazy, ridiculous show truck i guess no, it, no, it no. does also really you well you are an overlander oh yeah we have a roof tent we're overlanders yeah, yeah. this is a show truck you're, yeah. you're gonna no, camp in this thing <laughs> it's not a show truck but it's not meant to do a specific purpose except right. be really cool look really cool and make all the right noises and it does perform it pulls really well it, off. it pulls off very yeah. well it performs really well it just has its limitations and so 
anyway, the suspension geometry is all good. It's just not perfect. And that's just based on the limitations we had with like the clearance we could get for the axles under the engine. The wheelbase is just really short. Yeah. So putting this big of axles under this short of a wheelbase, um, all of that. But uh, overall, it performs. Things start surprisingly well for being a diesel without a grid heater or anything. Yeah. In the cold. In North Idaho. In North Idaho. <laughs> This was on eBay Motors, their channel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was on the eBay Motors YouTube channel. Um, it was on our YouTube channel. Uh, I don't think Weston actually did a video on his channel, but um, Lacey Blair did as well. So it's gonna kind of been a community build. And it was actually a really fun uh, project that we couldn't and wouldn't have done without eBay Motors being the, you know, driving force behind it. Because, um, of course, they put the money behind it, which is a big factor, but also... Yeah they're the ones who got us all together as YouTubers. And that part was really cool. That was honestly one of the best parts for me was just, you know, getting to work with Doing a bunch of other cool stuff. Too, yeah. yeah. And we all, all of us, you know, when we were all riding in it together in California, at the end, we were all talking about how the end result is amazing, but it's not something that any one of us would have built by ourselves. Like right. if, if eBay had just given the truck to Weston, he would have put the Cummins in it, yeah. but then he would not have put the ridiculous axles under it. We put the axles under it, we wouldn't have necessarily put the Cummins in it, and then we also wouldn't have made it as nice of a finished product as Lacey did. We would have just left it, let the axles rust because yep. we just, That's you know, it's, it's all about fashion. function and, <laughs> you know, and, and being cool, but never have time or really interest even in painting everything sometimes. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's just cool to, to build something that is a, such a collaborative effort between three very very different youtube channels i mean we're all automotive but we have completely different styles so um yeah it turned out fun and it's awesome that we get to have it back and play with it for a while yes sounds good dude thank you so much for sharing this oh, yeah. uh, with us thanks and, for uh, coming up and you know rallying around so one fun. of the next one of the next few videos we'll get this thing out there really ripping with the other trucks. yeah so yeah thank you guys stay tuned <laughs>